And I'd like to share with you our recent work on odor robot sensor system and odor trace visualization. I'm going to divide my presentation into four parts. Firstly, a short introduction of the background of our research. Then, the next two parts, I will show you our one-dimensional and two-dimensional gas sensor. And lastly, a short conclusion about this presentation. So let me begin by talking about other information. Basically, this is the Basically, there's three kinds of other information, the concentration, the difference, and its shape. We can use the amount to find the gas leak place and the, the difference to for some gas drug detection and rescue after disasters. Automatic tracking through order has been a hot topic for a long time. For example, this is our other robot with a lip mouse as its core, which can detect and phenomenon trace at an extremely low level. And this is a triggering robot, which can find gas sources in a plume with these two semiconductor gas sensors. But this one, the shape of other trees, not so much attention to this. So why in this is the reason. This is a commonly used uh, semiconductor gas sensor for other robots, and uh, it's an array for two-dimensional sensing. The problem is uh, its slow response speed, typically sec um, <coughs> taking tens of seconds, and its low spatial resolution in this scale. So in this research, we use image sensor like CCD camera for high spatial resolution and uh, optochemical phenomenon for high response to, uh, speed. And uh, we need a connect combination for this two one. This is the de detecting principle, LSPR, abbreviation for localized surface plasma resonance. The most important point is the optical properties of this LSPR substrate will be changed by the gas molecules. That's the permittivity of the AU nanoparticle itself and the permittivity of surrounding media changed by a gas molecule. When they, under this resonance condition, uh, the resonance will get to its maximum and the optical properties will be changed. Retransmittance, reflection, and scattering. So optical properties is a high speed and with this AU nanoparticles of its 40 nanometer scale, when it is used as a two dimensional sensor, it can be a high resolution. And here is the concept of our research on order trace robot use the shape of other trace. Here's the one dimensional sensor and its signal, not easy to be understand, but hard to know the shape. With two dimensional one, we can get the shape directly. So here's the 1D part of the sensor design and the robot. A vacuum pump and a sampling tube for a gas pass and an LED light source and a photodiode for the change of optical properties. Here's the sensor film. And I will play a video to show you what this robot can do to make you a simple impression. So it's the invisible order palm print sensing with this 1D sensor. So how do we get this sensor substrate? We use water and a near method to improve the sensitivity of the sensor substrate. And the result, the black line shows that this three times farther one shows the best transmittance change. 
So here's a high speed gas switching system for taste its response speed, which shows a 20 millisecond gas switch speed. And when it equip, equipped on a robot, it shows a 3.3 centimeter spatial resolution and a speed of 6.33 centimeter per second with a 5% peak method calculated. So this is a simple comparison between LSPR sensor and a semiconductor gas sensor. And here's the mark for the gas source. We use SNRS gas source. So the LSPR sensor uh, showed the exact position of the gas source while the semiconductor gas sensor just keep rising, so no recovery. The RSPR sensor is 2050 times faster than the semiconductor sensor. This is a simple demonstration by binary information read, binary order information reading. So we use this decreased point as signal one and other point as signal zero. This paper type was coded with SNR, with SNR or not, 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 to make this zero one information. And this is a robot signal. This signal can be transferred on the ASCII rule to the human readable or word like this order. So let's go to the two dimensional sensor part. And this is the concept of other trace visualization, other trace like this. Here is the sensor film and the CCD camera, the light source. So this is the two dimensional sensor film, a little bit light, uh, different from the one before. That's we grow some silver layer upon the, on the AU layer with this method. So in one dimensional sensor, we use just transmitted light to uh, detect the change of gas molecule. And in this one, you can use both the reflected light and the scattered light. Here is the one uh, gas flow visualization with this transmittance change. So we brought in gas flow, brought in air flow. A clear change can be seen from this animation. This is in the position and the average intensity of this part was added here to show that a clear for a better understanding. At last, this is our visualization experiment of our Q and U abbreviation for our Kyushu University. The scale of the invisible resource was like this. It's written with a thermal solution. And this is a five, five centimeter glass LSPR 2D substrate. And the exposure time was 0 0.4 seconds and 50 frames. It can clearly see the character and the diffusion change of the gas environment. Here's the experiment set up. Lastly, the conclusion, we got a high speed and high spatial LSPR sensor. And it's, it's one dimensional version, showed a 20 millisecond response speed and a spatial resolution of 3.3 centimeters 
and a gas flow visualization and uh, the latter shaped was successfully visualized with, with the two-dimensional one. Thank you for your attention. Questions?